Hey guys, um, doing our little programming type of setup here today, and this one uh, requires no computer, it requires no programming cables, no EPROMs, no nothing. Um, the radio is an old Tate T500 VHF commercial uh, radio, and uh, it's already been I guess you'd call it programmed for a, a couple commercial frequencies already and basically there's a lit, there's a fair bit of information online about this particular radio um, I just spent the last I don't know couple of hours researching about this radio um, I placed a fair bit of information on my website regarding it that I found online and uh, basically how to program this radio um, how to program it um, well let's just say uh, it's a bit of a headache uh, but I'm going to take some of that headache away from you uh, I just spent the last uh, like I say a couple hours researching this and uh, trial and error on the programming and uh, I finally come up with the calculations to uh, changed the radio to 146.500 megahertz um, on one of the channels anyways uh, this particular unit again is two channels um, the model number uh, I believe is this one here right in the corner right down there uh, T555 point or T555-60 low wide um, so uh, slow band, I guess, and wide, whatever. I guess that's what low and wide means. Slow band basically means it's, you know, 150 odd megahertz band and it's wide band. But, anyways, that's all I'm guessing that. But, anywho, so how to program this particular unit uh, is by dot or uh, diode matrix. Diode matrix programming. And uh, it is a royal pain and hole I have to admit and the board that you have to deal with is this fella here that's your diode matrix board um, I'm going to turn the radio sideways here and zoom into the board so there we have it that is um, basically that's channel one receive and transmit uh, little diodes SMD diodes, the black fella is there, see them? That's your diodes and all your solder joints. The radio's already been pre-programmed with the commercial. Uh, I'll be taking her off of that. I have no idea if the radio even works, but for sake of programming, we're going to uh, set up this board uh, as if we we're doing it new. So basically you just unplug the board and you have a bunch of diodes on both sides again this here is your channel one and you flip the board over and you have your channel two and as always do it basically what you have to do you have to uh, bridge connections and open connections these solder joints right here in the center of your screen that's how you select diodes individual diodes so yeah there's 16 uh, on receive 16 on transmit which is 32 combinations per channel uh, which is 64 combinations for two channels <laughs> yeah um, so it's a bit of a brain teaser to program this thing but I took most of the burn uh, stuff out of it to make it a bit easier to try to figure this out. Like I said, I was at this most of the day myself, a couple hours anyways. And basically what you have to do uh, first uh, is if you're reprogramming this thing from new, or program from new, every one of these solder joints here would have to be shorted. They'd ha all have to be shorted and uh, you would select for your programming the uh, the shorted connection would have to be opened 
in order to uh, program the radio to channel. So basically this is what it is for uh, 146 500. You have your uh, what you have to do first, you have to take your frequency on the receive side, 146 500 and subtract that by 21.4 which equals 125.1. And then you have to basically subtract diodes until you make it to zero. <laughs> In my case, I had to, for 125.1, subtract 64 megahertz, 32 megahertz, 16 megahertz, 8 megahertz, 4 megahertz, 1 megahertz, and 0 0.100 kilohertz. And all that would equal to zero. And that would equal diodes N8, N7, N6, N5, N4, N2, and A4. So these particular diodes here would have to be opened. They would correspond, obviously, since they're the receive side. This is the board. You're dealing with the receive side of the board, which is down here. And as you can see, the board is broken into two separate segments. Uh, you have uh, A. Let me see where my finger do. A is on this side, N is on this side. So you start with 0 through 9, and then you have 0 through 5. So both sides of the board are broken up like that, as you can see. So you have to watch your N's and your A's. Make sure you're uh, opening and closing the right diodes. So the receive side, obviously you do this side. And for the transmit for channel 1 would be the top side. So the top side, uh, you're actually adding your adding frequencies to equal the frequency you want to use. So obviously we want 146, 500. So we're um, taking 128 megahertz. We're adding 16 megahertz, we're adding 2 megahertz, and we're adding 0 0.500 kilohertz, which will equal to 146.500. And that would equal the diodes N9, N6, N3, and N1. These four you would open up. So they're open, they're not shorted, they're open. And uh, once you get that, then your channel 1 is set. Your receive side and your transmit side ready to go. Then you just take your little board here. And you just plug it into here, and then you have to go through the alignment and everything else, which is fun. I haven't gotten into that part yet, but um, just for programming part of it, we will uh, prepare the board for programming by shorting all these connections, and then we'll uh, we'll together we'll program this uh, diode matrix programming board. Alright, so right now all these solder joints, all the jumpers are now closed. This is normally how you would set your board up to begin with. Normally these would all have to be closed. That's the first part of programming your uh, your diode matrix board, this particular one for this uh, Marconi Canada, which is all, which is really a Tate T500. So now what we have to do, we have to um, open these individual solder joints to correspond to the diodes that we want to use, which are these guys here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the receive side first, which is these down here, and then we're going to open up the transmit side, which is up here. So here we go. Let's uh, let's get the solder sucker out and have at it. Hey folks. So here we are. So right now we should have on the bottom we should have uh, N eight seven six five four two and A four opened. So let's check. We have N eight, N seven, N six, N five, N four. Four and two and a four is open. So right now we have the receive side is complete. Now we move to the top, which is transmit, and now we have to open up in nine, six, three, and two, or uh, nine, six, three, and one rather. So let's open up those guys. Okay. So now we have transmit side is done. So we'll go through these guys. Uh, N9 is open, 
in six is open, in three is open, and in one is open. So right now we have this uh, diode matrix board programmed for 145 or 146.520, and that's basically how the uh, TEAT T500 is programmed. So after you do that, you just take your board very gingerly and drop it in place and push her down and I'll put the radio on channel 1 and that's it the only part you have to do with this then is uh, retune it basically you have to retune uh, to line up your VCOs and everything else make sure everything's working properly frequency counter the whole 9 yards and uh, the tune-up procedure, uh, you can find that online as well. I also now have it placed on my website, so that won't disappear. I went on a couple of websites there today about the T500, and the web pages have since been uh, removed. So, yeah. Got to keep the information out there. There anyway, guys, that's it. That's, uh, that's pretty much how you program the Take T500. Or a VHF 2 meter. So that's very basically how it's done. Very basic. Um, I may do a tuning procedure part of it shortly. We'll see. Uh, like I haven't even tried radio. I don't even know if radio even works, to be honest with you. I just want to figure out how to program the diode matrix and figure I'd show you guys how to do it too. Anyways, all the best. 7 3 and uh, well, yes, uh, a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody out there. Hope you're having a great one. All the best, folks. Seven three.